We've seen plenty of western shooters on the PSVR. Games like Guns and Stories, Cold Iron, and Hopalong the Badlands are all fun titles. Though after receiving several similar titles, they have started to get repetitive. So when Copper Canyon Shootout was announced, I wasn't that interested. But now that it's out, we can see whether or not it'll stand out from the crowd. Copper Canyon Shootout is a PSVR western shooter that has you fighting robots. You go wave by wave from area to area. The gameplay is very simple and similar to other games. But what makes it a lot more enjoyable is that you can move around while you fight the wave, unlike other wave shooters where you are stationary. There isn't a story to the game, but it doesn't really need one. The combat is very simple. You press the trigger to shoot and reload by lowering your guns. You also have to worry about health, but there are plenty of health bottles around you. There are three stages in total to play. Each stage can take anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes to beat. And at the end of each stage, there is a boss battle. But the rest of the bosses are the exact same boss, just with an added move. It's a fun boss at first, but I didn't enjoy fighting it three times. There are only two guns in the game, the pistol and shotgun. They are both fun to use, but it would have been nice if there were more guns to play with. One problem I did have with the game is that there is no option for full locomotion. You can only use teleportation. And while I didn't mind it that much, Full locomotion is a VR necessity for the majority of players. The graphics and art style are both good. The art style is a mix of cartoony and cel shaded. And I didn't run into any bugs while playing through the game. So overall, Copper Canyon Shootout is a fun game. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it, but I came out surprised and enjoyed my time with it. It only takes around an hour to complete, but it's fairly priced. It would be nice if there was some replayability though. There is a scoring system, but it's underutilized, mainly because there isn't a leaderboard. So if you're looking for a fun little wave shooter and you don't mind teleportation, this is a great choice.